Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Mercy. Today we are going to be reviewing the Viseart Mini Pro Choo Choo Palette. If you would like to see how we got this eye look, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I already have my base makeup done and my eyes are primed. I used my P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. And as I mentioned, we are going to be talking about the Viseart Mini Pro Palette today. Um, and I have the one called Choo Choo. <laughs> I just thought the name was cute, but beyond that, I thought that the shades in this were really, really cute. I love um, pinks and corals, so I thought that these two were really stunning along with this one. Um, the silver is an interesting add-on. Um, I'll be interested to see how it plays with the others. So I'm going to create an eye look today, and then um, I'll do swatches for you guys at the end. So these don't have shade names, and I am so sorry my natural light is uh, peeking through my curtains over here, but they don't have shade names, but the first shade, good golly, but the first shade that I'm going in with is this peach shade. And we're going to just do that all in the crease. It has been years since I played with Viseart Cosmetics, um, so I don't, I don't recall. I don't honestly know that I've ever played with their eyeshadows, but yeah, we're off to a rousing start. So that color honestly built up pretty speedily, very quickly, I should say. Speedily is not a word. Um, it does have minimal kickback in the pan, nothing too wild here. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, and then the next shade that we're going to go in with is, um, this really bright pink and we're going to put that on a smaller, more defined brush and we're going to put that right in the crease and then I'm going to blend those two together to get the look that I'm going for here. Okay. So that's those two colors blended together. Um, I feel like this eye blended a little bit better than this one. That's probably user error, um, so I apologize for that. I did want to show you, though, that this really bright pink color, um, although very pretty, um, is, has a ton of fallout. Um, that's not something that matters to me, but if that's something that matters to you, I wanted to mention it because I thought it might be worth mentioning. Um, I will say these didn't blend together exactly how I had anticipated that they would. I think it's very pretty, but the pink is very cool tone. Like, it's a very bubblegum blue pink. Um, so it plays very interestingly with the peach shade that's obviously very warm in tone. So it didn't exactly play the way that I thought it would, but I don't dislike the look that I have by any stretch. I'm going to go in um, with this shade on the inner portion. I'm undecided if I want to do this all over the lid or put this on the outside of the lid. So we'll just, I guess, kind of see where that leads us. I do want to say you can't, if the camera's not catching it, partly because of this pesky light, but... Um, this shade that I'm putting on my lid is a duochrome. Um, it looks like it's a very like peachy pink sparkle color, but there is, it kind of shifts green. So I just wanted to note that. Hopefully you can see it once I edit out maybe some of this. <laughs> I wanted to know it picks up just fine with a brush. I am going to try it with my finger though, just to see if I can get more impact. Like maybe it'll pick up better on camera or something. A little bit. Yeah, you do get a little more impact with the with my finger. I'm gonna stick the pink, this like really bright pink, just on the outer part of my lid. I'm just I just wanna try to play with as many of these colors as I can where I'm trying out this palette. That does pick up nicely with a brush. I'm going to try my finger just to see if I can build that color up a little bit. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara off camera and I'll be back. So this is my finished eye look. I messed up my mascara a little bit here, um, but let's pretend we don't see that. Um, I like the way the eyes came out. I will say this shade right down here um, is more of a topper than it is a pigment. So that's something to bear in mind um, if this is a palette that you're interested in, that this light pink shade is really more of a topper and it performs beautifully as that because when I went in to like re-intensify my crease and make sure everything was blended and some of the crease shade got onto my lid and I went to go put this over and it glided over beautifully, but it really doesn't have the same pigment that um, these shadows do here. Um, for my lower lash line, I just did something very minimalistic as to not overpower the eye. Um, I went in with this shade here um, right under my waterline. Then I went over that shade with um, that peach shade that we used from earlier. For my inner corner, I went in with this one. So the only three colors we didn't use today um, are this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches 
right now. So this is that top row. So we have that really light transition shade, um, the next deeper shade that I do have on my bottom lash line today. This is that um, seemingly brown looking color, but it's really pulling more of a rose gold, um, deep peach shift with the shine. And then of course, um, the pink that we used all over my eye. This is the entire first row. And then for the bottom row here, um, we have that silver shade that again, I just kind of feel is mismatched. Um, of course, the peach shade that we used on the eye today, that pink shimmer that we also used on the eye, and then the really light pink gold green shift shade. So those were all the shades swatched. Um, just to kind of reiterate, so this is the Busy Art Mini Pro Choo Choo Palette, um, and it retails for $30, so you get eight shades for $30. Whether it's worth that price tag or not, I think, again, price tag-wise, it's going to be up to the consumer. You guys, um, I will say the shades were prettier and different at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, some of the shades didn't look as unique as they were when I was able to play with them, um, like especially this shimmer shade here was very unique. Um, this one here looks like it's gonna be a copper and it's not, <laughs> it pulls very rose gold. I will say when swatching, this shade here, although it applied nicely to the eye, it feels very dry and almost kind of a rougher consistency, whereas these two shades felt very creamy. So that was kind of odd. Um, I'm not sure if that was done intentionally or not, but just something to note that there was a little bit of inconsistency there. But overall, I like the way that this applied. I like this color story and I like the look that I created. Something to bear in mind, of course, is that you are only getting eight shades. So the number of looks you're gonna be able to create with this palette are limited, but if these are some of the colors that you really gravitate towards or you really love, I think that you wouldn't be disappointed with this palette. Um, again, the only shade that seems a little misplaced for me is the silver shade, but I'm sure that I will find a use for it and the others that really enjoy or are inspired by this color story will also find a use for it. I am happy that I own it and I will be keeping it in my collection. If I had to come up with an, another critique, um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but the packaging on this, I just feel like they could have done a nicer job of. Um, it does come with like this little mirror. I still have the protective stuff on it, but this part right here is like just very chintzy and plasticky. Um, so that's not ideal. I also, for size comparison, I want you to understand how small this is because when I got it in, I don't think I was prepared for how small this is for $30. Um, so I was whoa, a little taken aback. Um, right here we have my sparkling water um, and here's the palette. So this is a standard can, folks. Like this could be a, you know, Diet Cola or Sprite or something. Um, and this is how big the palette is. So I just, I wanted to make sure that you, when you see this, if this is something that you're considering getting, that you understand how small it is. Um, the pans are very teensy. The packaging is a little chintzy, um, but I will say that I like the way that these perform. Busy Art is um, an artistry brand. It's a higher end brand. They historically have put out pretty decent products. I would say that this is no exception. Um, I would say it's comparable to Natasha Denona. Um, Pat McGrath holds a special place in my heart, so I kind of feel like nobody can touch her, but um, I do feel like the shimmers performed similarly to the way that the Natasha Denona shimmers apply, which is beautifully. So um, again, if you're looking for this color story, these colors um, to add to your collection, I think that you won't be disappointed by this. Just bear in mind this size. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me if you would go ahead and subscribe down below. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.